from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Kylie McGivern and here are your ABC Action News headlines. The ongoing effects of red tide are putting some local commercial fishers out of work and causing many to wonder what the future of fishing will look like in our Gulf waters. For Dylan Hubbard and Hubbard's Marina, red tide has forced them to use dead bait instead of live bait for fishing trips. That's because when red tide hits, bait fish are the first to go. That put his bait fisher out of work and he is now shifted to picking up side work, cleaning up dead fish. One of our captains was lucky enough to get on the red tide cleanup and uh, he's one of the big, bigger charter captains around here and he asked if I wanted to help him scoot dead fish. So I'm scooping scoops of fish mixed with maggots every day. And he is now worried about the long term effects red tide will have on fishing, saying a lot of big fish in deep water ocean start out as small fish in the bay along the coast. Turning now to protests in the Bay Area in support of freeing Cuba, we saw large crowds marching on Dale Mabry and Himes Avenue headed toward Al Lopez Park yesterday. Another group gathered at Centennial Park in Ybor City. They want the Cuban people to be free of their communist government and enjoy the same rights we do in the United States, like the right to pick where you work and the freedom to vote. For more context about what's happening on the communist island and the biggest issues facing the Cuban people, we have more information on our website, abcactionnews.com. History may be made today in honor of National Ice Cream Day. Beans and Barler Dessert Bar in St. Pete will try to break the Guinness World Record for the most people scooping ice cream at the same time. Beans and Barler is inviting people of all ages. Keep in mind, admission is free, but you do need to register in advance. The world record attempt is set for 11 this morning at Al Lang Stadium. That's the home of the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Now let's check in with Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. Great day for ice cream today, that is for sure, because it's going to be a hot one prior to any rainfall arriving later this afternoon into this evening. Temperature wise, we'll go into the upper 80s and lower 90s. The heat index easily up to around that 100 degree mark. And then storm chances will start to pick up here after 2 p.m. Now it'll be a limited risk through that point as our sea breeze comes inland. Notice by 4 o'clock, there's not a lot of action here showing up on Futurecast, but once the East Coast Sea Breeze moves far enough west, it will merge with our Gulf Coast Sea Breeze, and that will kick off a bit more in the way of some widespread rain, rain threats. Look at the time, though. We're talking about late today into tonight versus it being more during the daylight hours when a lot of you have the outdoor plans. So aside from the heat, looks pretty good, and then we'll dodge those scattered storms here later on this afternoon and evening. Kylie. Thanks, Jason. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there.